This is just a great place. It's our debut here, and it's going to be a very special night. And uh, I know that we've got tremendous action. Steve, you talked about our six-man main event, Adam Cole and the Young Bucks, against Colt Cabana, Dalton Castle, and Jay Lethal. And what is he doing? He's a man of the people. How could you not love this kid? some time talking to that young man. Steve, what, what makes him fly the change with his super ACH? You know, it, he's, he's a very complex young man, and I got to sit down and talk to him. You're going to see it in the next coming weeks on ROHWrestling.com. And, and I got to the head of what makes him super ACH. And it, it's such a fascinating interview that I think everybody's going to love. And the, the, this kid was confident. A lot of people said cocky before, but he was confident. And now with tours of pro wrestling Noah under his belt, it is he is just going to a next level. He's he's a man that believes in himself, and he says it to everybody: "Be yourself." And that's what I think is, is the key to his success. He's more aggressive in the ring. He's more confident in his abilities. He is who he is, and that's what I think makes him so great. And of course, his opponent Will Ferrara, who is a product of the ROH Dojo and is uh, very determined here tonight, not just to give a good accounting of himself, but to pick up a victory. Arm drag takeovers, leg sweep, cover. Now the return of the leg sweep. Oh, wow, so fast the action. And Bobby Cruz is here with us. Bobby, I'm glad you're sitting in on commentary with us for some of the matches here tonight. What a treat, guys, to be, to be on the headsets with you. This is going to be fun. We said the A-team is back in town. We've, sure we've got is. everybody here. I know, huh? Can you believe it? You could put that on top of your head if you want. Crush my, my spike pad. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. Now, we were talking about the confidence of Super ACH, but what about the confidence of Will Ferrar? Over the past few months, we've seen this kid grow from just, you know, basically uh, a young man just trying to pay the in ROH to a man that goes out there and he could pull up and upset any night. ACH up and over. Ooh, wait a minute. Caught inverted atomic drop. What a test for Will Ferrara, guys, too. He, over the past year or so, become one of the top young stars in Ring of Honor. And he's facing someone who was basically himself a couple years ago. That's a very good point, Bobby, because, you know, the evolution, the change, the growth, the development of ACH is one that we've certainly documented here. And continue to see how far he can go. But the same for Ferrara. Wow. And part of the improvement of Will Ferrara is Instead of looking for the fans to, uh, to pump him up, out of he, the way. He, he's not wasting any time. He's hit moves and just like that. A year ago, he would have waited for the fans to come with him. He would have allowed his opponent to bleed, and he would have been on the receiving end of an offensive maneuver like that. Bobby, I know one of the things we want to talk about tonight, of course, with you here, All-Star Extravaganza, the, the live pay-per-view event, the television taping the next day in Lowell, your backyard. And uh, I know it's got to feel good uh, to bring Ring of Honor action back to the state of Massachusetts. Well, of course, you know, being here about 13 years, every time I see Ring of Honor on my uh, oh! my ca work calendar, so to speak, I get excited even after 13 years. But it's definitely going to be special to have some family and friends up there in Lowell for our pay-per-view and TV team. And one time, swept aside the drop kick. I missed that. See? I missed it. And uh, Good to be back. the second time, ACH beat him to the punch, hit him with the drop kick. So, All-Star Extravaganza live on pay-per-view. 
on Friday, September 30th. Here is a cover off the tilt roll backbreaker and a two count. Then the big television taping the next day, Bobby. So two opportunities for uh, some home cooking for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The fans of New England have been clamoring for Rinovana to return earlier this year. We were in Rhode Island. Haven't been in Massachusetts in several years. So we're expecting two big crowds for our pay-per-view and TV taping in a great venue the Lowell Memorial, Memorial Auditorium. Now, uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be in Lockport, New York, and we'll see uh, the Honor Rumble. Are you aware of our broadcast colleague Steve Carino's record in Battle Royals? I don't think it's very good like the rest of his record. Ah. And, well, that's good. Oh, and 88. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, better than I thought. Nice! There it is, that back elbow. Caught him, cover, and a two count. Bobby, may I remind you who got you in this company? 13 years yes, ago. Yes, yes, Steve Carino. But uh, are you in the Battle Royal tomorrow night? Probably not. Right? Think about that. If I go on, I break that 88 match streak. I win. Then I am Cover. guaranteed a shot at the ROH World Championship. Right. Currently held by? <laughs> Cole Baby. Oh, think about that. Cole Baby. Oh, Cole Carino. Give me a sellout. And I believe that world title shot would take place in Florida. Too bad it didn't happen on the same night because Suburban Buffalo, you and Ring of Honor world title shots, very Absolutely. synonymous. Brian Danielson, Tyler Black. I don't know what the hell happened to those guys, but I'm still here. ACH with the boot caught Farrar in the rib cage. And uh, Farrar fired himself up. Kid has a motor, that's for sure. A never say die attitude. Really the part of the heart and soul of the ROH dojo. We've seen him with uh, his, his, you know, uh, you know, cheeseburger. We've seen Joey Dadiego. You know, these ROH dojo trainees uh, are very, very tight. They train together. They travel together. Oh, he has been training Gosh. with Ooh. Joey Daddy. Oh, wait a minute. Caught it. Great move. Great move by ACH to roll out of the ring. But here comes Will Ferrer with a first time oh. convert of the night. This Pittsburgh crowd a little bit surprised at how Ferrar is carrying the fight to ACH. And I think ACH is too a little bit. A great offensive maneuver to roll out of the ring, but then beautiful. Oh, great transition tornado DDT. Leg is hooked two and just that close. Just that close. And I think if he would have rolled that leg up a little bit further, put the pressure on the shoulders, he may have gotten the three there. But look at Will. Will is now, he's not worrying about the crowd. He knows the crowd's going to be with him. They respect him. And he's going for that offensive maneuver. Keep going for offense. ACH not letting go of that top row. Ferrar is going to have to pry ACH free and will do so instead. Forearm now. But Ferrar oh. follows in and catches him with the elbow. Oh! Somebody's been doing their homework. study for something oh. just that athletic. Wow. Super! Super! That's what makes it Guys, just think, it, it, you look at this match, it shows you how far ACH has come, as you mentioned earlier in the match. Will Ferrara may be having the match of his life to this point. Great showing, win to lose for Will Ferrara, but ACH just coming off that red-hot tour of Japan, and he is on fire right now. And look at that, it was a gear change there by ACH. Turned it up, threw it in the fifth gear. It allowed him to catch his breath a little bit. He's taking a lot of punishment from Will Ferrara. It's a good point, he used to be 100 miles an hour all the time, he's right. learned. He's becoming that young veteran. Now sending court to corner. No, Ferrara stops him. Another forearm. He's connected solidly now on three different occasions. ACH puts the brakes on. Didn't knock Ferrara down. Ferrara's still charging. Uh-oh. Dangerous place for Ferrara to be. Nice head scissors. Landed on his head, cover again. Roll him straight now down two. Oh. oh! And you can see that time Will Ferrara rolled him onto his shoulders a little bit more. Ferrara frustrated, you can see it there. He thinks he should have had the match won. 
Frustrated with himself there. He's got he's to get his composure. Yeah, can't lose his cool here. Right, he's a young man with a temper and passion. All right, so now Farrar could be one big move away from picking up a huge win. He's been to the finals of the Top Prospect Tournament in 2015. This could be a signature win here in 2016. Oh! A lumbar check! Lumbar, lumbar check. check! Lumbar check to the top, he goes! Midnight Star! But Midnight Star in the back! Got him! The winner of the match, ACH! So ACH, oh. man! Woohoo! Woo what a way to kick things off here! Super ACH! with the Midnight Star onto the back of Will Ferrara after the lumbar check. Like I always say, when the guy leaves the territory, his moves are up for grabs. All bets are off. Super ACH gets the win here tonight in Pittsburgh. Dutifully shakes hands with the code of honor. Disappointed he is, but a tremendous victory for a star on the rise. Expect great things for ACH in the six-man tournament and beyond.